All right, good people. Uh, welcome back. This again, this is Arthur Morris. In this video, we are going to uh, look at some problems in this software program here. All right, so looking at this first problem, we want to graph the given function by making a table of coordinates. So they give you the x coordinates, so you need to calculate those and and when you calculate those, we have one third to the power of x to the power of negative two in this case. Remember to use your reciprocal rule, and that would give you a positive nine because you have to take the reciprocal to make the exponent positive, and that would be three to the positive second power. All right, so one third to the power of negative one, that would be three. One third to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero is one. And one third to the power of one, and that would be one third. And then one third to the power of two, you square both numbers, so that would give us one ninth. Okay, we check our answers, everything is good. Now we pick the graph uh, that's, that goes with this particular one. Uh, so let's find the graph that best matches this particular graph. And you can blow these up by using the magnifying glass. So I look at this point, negative two, positive nine. If I look at A, negative two, that doesn't go up to positive nine. So I know A is not the correct answer choice. So uh, B and C, I don't see any negative X values. So I'll go over to D and look at it. And if I look at negative two, it goes up to about positive nine. I can check the other coordinates as well. Uh, negative one, positive three, and those match up. So I know that this would be the correct graph for this problem here, this exponential function. Okay. This next question wants us to, it says, begin by graphing the parent function f of x equals 2 to, to the power of x. Then use transformations of this graph to graph the given function, which the given function is g of x equals 2 to the power of x minus 6. Be sure to graph and give the equation of the asymptote. So we need to graph the asymptote as well. Uh, use the graph to determine the function's domain and range. So what we're actually doing on this problem is written underneath here where it says graph g of x equals 2 to the power of x minus 6 and its asymptote. Use the graphing tool to graph the function as a solid curve and the asymptote as a dashed line. So make sure you read those instructions carefully. Uh, so I click here to enlarge my graph. And then I click on my curve tool. And then I just basically click on the, the graph here on the coordinate plane. Now, if I look down here to the right, I see that I already have a base of two. So I know that's two to the power of X. However, I have this minus six right here. So with that minus six, remember that uh, transformation tells me that that is a vertical translation or transformation going down six places. So a vertical translation uh, down six places. So negative six on this vertical translation. I'll just ease this over to negative six and you see my graph moved accordingly. Now be careful here. You're not completely done because we also have to graph the asymptote and it said graph using a dashed line. So I'm going to change my line to a dash. Well, no, leave that curve there. Sorry. All right. So we're done with that. Let's exit out of that. Now let's click on the line tool change our line to a dash line here and we have to plot a couple of points so since my graph moved down six places on this y-axis then my horizontal asymptote is not at y equals negative y equals zero anymore as you can see my horizontal asymptote moved down six places as well so I'm going to plot a couple of points here and have my line and click save and I have my horizontal asymptote. I have my curve for this graph. Let's check the answer. 
Good job. Okay, the next thing says the equation of the asymptote for this function is what? Well, again, my asymptote shifted down six places. So my equation for that horizontal line is y equals negative six. Then the domain of the function, uh, well, the domain hasn't changed from our parent function. The domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity for uh, these exponential functions here. So, so negative, and I'll use my infinity tool here, and I'll go over to make sure I get in that blue box, positive infinity, and check that answer. Now the range, range, remember that means from bottom to top, from bottom to top. So if I'm starting at the bottom of this, of this coordinate plane, I see that my curve starts, this graph starts at about negative six in relationship to my y-axis and it goes all the way up to positive infinity. Now we're not including negative six because remember we have a horizontal asymptote there. So I must use parentheses. So from negative six, not inclusive of negative six shown by the parentheses to a positive infinity. All right, let's look at one more. All right, so again, we're going to use transformations of the graph f of x equals e to the power of x to graph the given function. And we're graphing e to the power of negative x. So we want to graph h of x, which equals e to the power of negative x and its asymptote, and graph the asymptote using a dashed line. So let's enlarge it. Uh, we know that this creates a curve, so let's click on the curve tool and click on here and you see over here to the right, we have the correct base, base E, so we're good there. However, we need to tell what happens or what, what's this transformation or what happens to this graph to go from E to the po positive power of X, which is what we have, to E to the negative power of X. So you see that the X's are going to be opposite. So the Y's will stay the same. So that means this thing reflects over which axis? Over the Y axis. So the Y numbers stay the same, but the X values go from positive X to negative X. So it reflects over the Y axis. All right, uh, let's not forget our horizontal asymptote, which in this case, you see that we didn't move, this uh, graph didn't move up or down. So we have a horizontal asymptote at, uh, at y equals zero. And, and be sure to plot two points here to make that line. So let's save that. So you see I have my graph with my horizontal asymptote and my curve, and let's see if that's correct. It is. And then you would go in, fill in the information. So what is the equation of my horizontal asymptote for this graph? It's y equals zero because it's the x-axis. What is our domain? So remember our domain, that's from left to right, and this graph continues to stretch from left to right as far as we can see, so from negative infinity to positive infinity. And what about our range from bottom to top? So if we start at the bottom of this coordinate plane, we see that our graph doesn't begin in relationship to the y-axis until we get to zero, and it goes from zero to positive infinity. Alrighty, good people. That's it for this video. Hope you found it to be helpful. Thank you and see you on the next one.